Now, I haven't looked much into the Vault 7 leak. A friend of mine just sent me a link to a Sargon of Akkad video about it. I'm like, oh, Sargon? Oh, man. I'm still going to watch it, so... But what I'm thinking about right now is... Okay, I talked about how in mid-2013 to early-2014 seemed to be some of the start of people becoming so enraged over some of the narratives that some of the feminists were saying. And the thing is, I've, I've stated before, some of the stuff these people are saying they've been saying for years, but suddenly around that time, it just everything just became heated. In a crazy way, now maybe they yeah, now they probably changed some of their tactics, but this is gonna sound kind of sick, but drama sells products. Initially, I had thought, you know, uh, when it comes to this thing that seems like a weapon brought against us in late, in mid to late 2013, early 2014, and on. It's, it's essentially the idea that marketing, uh, uh, the, the art of marketing may be what's almost putting media and technology companies literally against the people. Almost like those things are now weapons against the people used to sell more technology. I, I, everything about these, these phones, it's all about planned obsolescence. And there are things that, I mean, if you have a brand, if you, 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 you have a phone that's put back to factory defaults, and all you're doing is looking at websites, why should those websites suddenly go much slower because of two years? It's understandable you want to run a bunch of new apps. Okay, fine, that's that's something different. You're just looking at fucking web pages. Why does the whole phone slow down that much? Why what Why can updates fuck everything up this bad and we don't wonder well, you know, it seems like they must be doing this on purpose to try to get people to buy new equipment. It seems that Verizon, uh, there's a number of things that make me come to this conclusion, uh, that Verizon might, you know, let's, let's slow down their connection if they have an older device. Once it reaches a certain age, we're just going to slow it down. Whereas, you know, you could take that device to Wi-Fi and it's you know, decent speed, but you, you go to the, uh, you, you use a, a Verizon service and, well, look, it's, you're, you're, you know, look, you're just above dial-up. Slower than 3G, you know? It's... Now... If companies are willing to do that, and they're willing to, to basically use the public in very negative ways to sell products, then why wouldn't they be willing to promote drama so people will buy the products that give them more of that drama? People love drama. We try to act like we don't know. No, we love drama. People love drama. Drama sells things. As I said at the beginning of the video. Y 
drama cells. That's what used to sell products on, you know, TV shows. TV shows that's mainly about drama. So more people will buy the products that are advertised during the commercial breaks. Well, now what's selling is the thing that de- the th- are the things that deliver more drama. How can we get access to this drama quicker, more, more quickly? And now it's not about uh, you know, completely made up stories. It's a mixture of, of real things and uh, overhyped uh, hyperbole uh, 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 things blown out of proportion even though they're real things. So, you know, news is that way. Little news briefs are even that way. And you compare it to news briefs in some of these, like these commercial, these, during these commercial breaks from the, especially when you go back as far as like, you know, 84. Um, they weren't that way. They gave facts. Look, this news brief, we're going to just describe these, these, this and this and this and this happened. Thanks for watching. And then it goes to the next commercial and then it goes to the movie or program or whatever. Now, you know, if you see a news brief, it's, uh, (laughs) did Hillary Clinton really dot to dot to da? Did Trump really dot to dot to da? (laughs) And you just kind of expect, uh, inquiring minds want to know. (laughs) Just... And it would seem to me that Google has been able to do sort of psychological experiments on the public. How do they react when we change this algorithm to this? How do they react when we do this? You know, oh, that's a little too much drama. It's causing violence. Let's calm this down and and do this. Kind of reminds me of uh, the movie THX 1138 where they are doing all these strange psychological uh, tests via chemicals and things that are strapped to them and all of that, um, where they could use a, a, a joystick and get the guy to, to go like this based off of what's on some sort of joystick, you know. Um, <laughs> it... THX 1138 is a twisted movie. I, I actually really recommend watching it. Um, to me, THX 1138 is Lucas's very best work. Um, in the the new editions, there's a couple scenes where they did some. They did a, a computer generated uh, being uh, for a moment. You barely see it, but it, it's it's cheesed. It's cheesed. I wish he wouldn't have done that. But other than that little scene there, uh, the the changes are actually pretty much improvements. It makes the story make a lot more sense. You you have a lot more context. So, but I also think of the Truman Show. And how we we will think it's so outrageous that the idea that something like that could even happen. But companies can essentially be doing that with our lives based off of the way that when you shield certain information, you give certain information, you allow certain information to be seen more easily, you disallow some information to be seen more easily, and how that trickles down into society, right? So, I mean, quite feasibly, if Google and Bing and Yahoo, if they wanted to, they could start a war, 
by changing an algorithm. Now, they're obviously not going to do that, but they know how to do it. So as long as we're promoting drama on things related to technology, then you can sell more technology. We have been herded around by media since media's inception. Less so in earlier forms of media, like, you know, uh, newspapers, although, I mean, it still had quite an effect, but not quite like what, uh, how the internet affects uh, us now. But, and not nearly to the degree that uh, television was even as, uh, as late as the, uh, I don't know, 2003. But we've been herded around. The same way that we can herd around other animals, we can be herded around uh, via media. And so we're watching, we're watching uh, 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 legacy media flail. They're just flailing about. They're like, we don't know what to do. And we, we, we're not selling the products like we used to during the commercial breaks. They're not selling as much. We don't know, we, we don't know what to do. It's, uh, uh, legacy media is on its way out. No, no matter what happens, legacy media is on its way out. But the ways that the new type of media can have an effect on us is pretty extreme. At least At least in the past, media was often used to try to make, to try to send a message to make the world better. Now, with the new media, it's like, fuck the world. Fuck everything. At least we'll sell more phones, right? 